so hi all so in today's session we are mainly going to see about the file transfer protocol guys okay so this is very much important in our linux operating system so you should know because you see in nowadays okay so uh, when you you need to upload files right or you need to download files publicly that's what we used to do right guys correct so what exactly file transfer protocol okay so i'll i'll take you through in that one apart from that in file transfer protocol we are mainly going to see about what is active ftp okay first we'll see what is ftp what all types of ftp is there uh, your active and your passive ftp is there what is the difference between active and passive ftp how we can set it up the ftp server configuration and how we can set it up the ftp client configuration guys and how we can operate and uh, if you want to upload something or if you want to download something so by use of this ftp commands we can use that we can do that one guys we can, we can achieve those operations okay so let's get started directly with uh, this particular thing that is called your ftp okay here is your client here is your server okay okay so <clears throat> so before going into this one guys let me explain you what exactly ftp is okay then we'll understand this diagram then i'll explain you so ftp is nothing but this is stands for your file transfer protocol okay file transfer protocol okay correct guys this file transfer protocol is nothing but when uh, file transfer protocol you can say it's a standard protocol network or network protocol okay by use of this file transfer protocol it is used to transfer the file from one host to another host over a tcp based network that's what guys i said very clearly whenever you are try to communicate between a machine to machine whether it's a client whether it's a server or server to server right guys so here as of now you are able to see one client is there one server is there right means client and server is nothing but these are two machines okay and uh, this server is suppose somewhere uh, situated and this particular server is at somewhere your ohio california or somewhere else right guys so what mm -hmm. you need to do is if you want to connect to this server if you suppose if you want to upload something to this server or if you want to download something from this server right normally what we do would normally if you have to download a file or anything if you see in a internet if you go to internet and if you are doing something suppose i am going to centos if you i am typing here download okay what is this download centos 7 correct so you need to tell me if you go what is this this is nothing but this is a ftp this is what this is nothing but this is a ftp guys okay so centos dvd linux dvd iso file so this is the path where this they have given a url over here right correct this is they have given a url over here so if you click on this one it start downloading right so ultimately what i am telling over here is wherever you are trying to download something or whenever you are trying to upload something that is nothing but that is done by the file transfer protocol guys so this we were doing publicly same we need to do within the organization also there should be some central server from where you can download some files or you can upload some files right guys so how we are going to achieve that one this is why i said very clearly ftp is nothing but ftp is your file transfer protocol guys okay ftp is nothing but this is a file transfer protocol and it is used to transfer the file from one host to another host over a tcp ip network okay now usually usually that's what i need to say usually ftp having one ftp server and ftp one having a ftp client what does it mean by ftp having a ftp server and ftp is having ftp client okay so that i'll take you through later on but now guys you have you understand what is ftp file transfer protocol okay now the next thing is what you need to understand over here is okay total two types of ftp is available okay there is only two types of ftp is there one is your active ftp another one is your passive ftp guys okay so what do you mean by this active ftp and what do you mean by this passive ftp so let me explain you one by one what is this active ftp and what is this passive ftp and there is one more thing which i'll come later on so ftp 
communicates from client to server right so here you can see the architecture right this architecture i have drawn so there is a client client is nothing but this could be your system okay this could be your machine this could be your uh, server also that's what i said it could be a normal your uh, from your desktop also you can do it and this could be a server also so but there that the just wanted to uh, make sure for you guys so i have mm. shown something till now okay what is that so if you want to download something from the internet okay what is that that is nothing but that is a ftp that is mm. public but what mm. we are going to do is as of now it's going to be a private network now we are, see this system is what this is a client right this is a mm. client system this is mm. this is your system this is your laptop and this particular file which you are downloading you are downloading from where from the server from the ftp server but in our case i am going to show you how we can download from one server to other server by making okay if you can go here if you can see i'll show you so i am going to make there are two servers right linux terminal 1 and linux terminal 2 two machine so one machine i am going to use it as a client and other machine i am going to use a, a, a use it as a ftp server so how i can download and upload the file to this linux terminal 1 from this linux terminal 2 that is what the concept is here the concept is very easy you no need to do anything but you need to understand how it's work behind the scene okay so for the behind the scene you need to understand this architecture first okay so as of now you understand what is ftp now you need to understand what do you mean by active ftp and what do you mean by passive ftp guys just try to understand this one very carefully okay so active ftp nothing but the ftp connection mode where the command connection is initiated by the client where the command connection is initiated by the client and the data connection is initiated by the server okay now try to understand so whenever you try to communicate from client to server so whenever you try to establish a connection between a client to a server so in ftp there are two ports first you need to understand what all those ports are there those ports are nothing but those ports are called port 20 and port 20 21 you remember this is a interview question also they'll ask you what do you what do you mean by port 20 and what do you mean by port 21 so port 20 is nothing but in case of active ftp again i am repeating in case of active ftp okay so in this case of active ftp port 20 is for establishing the connection between the client and the server so here port 20 is going to establish a connection that is called your command control command control okay so it's going to establish the connection between the client and server by using this port 20 so you have established a connection sorry connection but how you are going to download the data or how you are going to upload the data so again so this particular connection is initiated by whom by the client but server has to respond right correct if you are uploading something or if you are downloading something so until unless the person front of you is not acknowledging you how you can uh, get a response from him tell me tell me guys will right it's not at all possible so by by use of this okay so by use of port 21 which is initiated by the server that is going to establish the data connection data connection means you are going to get the data by this port 21 only is this clear or not yes that's what i am telling when the this is what i am telling active ftp is nothing but when the ftp connection it is a mode okay active and passive is nothing but this is the mode in uh, ftp connection okay so in this connection when the command connection is initiated by the client and the data connection is initiated by the server okay that is called your active ftp and for command control the port number is 20 and for the data connection the port number is 21 is this clear or not guys okay there is one other way also there is called passive ftp something called passive ftp okay passive ftp so what do you mean by passive ftp 
so passive ftp is nothing but this is the passive ftp connection mode where server acts entirely passive as the command connection and as the data connection both so here so just try to understand this one guys what i am telling in the passive ftp okay in the passive ftp connection mode the server acts entirely passive at the command and the connection and the data connection are both initiated and established by the client means in the other side in the active ftp what you saw okay the date the command control or that you can say the connection is established by the client and the data data connection is initiated by initiated by the server but in case of passive ftp both the things will be initiated by the client itself so your server is absolutely going to act as a passive mode okay server is not going to do anything only the client has to do all the stuff clear or yes or no or you okay so mostly we need to upload the file and we need to download the file okay so i'll show you what is the example of when we upload a file that is called passive or when we download the file that is called active ftp okay that is there is a way i'll once i'll try to install that one then you will it will be get clear to you okay guys so as of now you just understand so ftp is what ftp is nothing but it's a file transfer protocol why we use ftp to upload and download the file from the internet okay because in our case we don't have a we don't have a private network okay so here as of now you can see in this is a normal general example i am showing you okay so in our case if you have to download anything centos.org okay if you go to this site you are able to get so many if you want to download something the older version it's telling somewhere okay so here if so what i want to convey over here what is this this is a public ftp from where you can download and you are not going to upload here you are just going to only download the file right it's a one way kind of a thing so you just going to download but in some cases in facebook or somewhere when you are uploading your file what is that what is that when you when you upload something into the internet okay you are going to upload to where you are just using that is called ftp that is ftp server that is by the back end okay which you can't see you are doing it from your system you don't know how it works so those things i am going to show you now and the other part which i told you very clearly okay ftp is going to work only two ports port 20 and port 21 guys okay so port 20 is for the command control when you establish a connection between client and server and port 22 is port, sorry port 21 is nothing but this is the data connection when the server has to initiate the data connection that is in case of active ftp but in case of passive ftp both the client means both the uh, initiation means uh, responsibility will be taken care by the client itself that is command control and the data connection both both has to be taken care by your uh, client okay but now you need to understand there will be some prerequisites which you need to understand again i'll be explaining okay what is the difference between somebody is going to ask you the active ftp and the passive ftp then you need to say very clearly straight for if the data connection is initiated by the server if the data connection is initiated by the server that is called your ftp ftp if the client initiated the data connection and the ftp connection is passive so you no need to think in term of this now you got the example you understand think in term of data connection no i think what i said so when when the data connection when you download something from my internet that is called active ftp and when you upload something that is called passive ftp because client has to take care of the you or you need to only think in term of data connection guys you no need to think in term of command control so here okay i can say this one is data connection means you are uploading something right you are uploading to where you are uploading to the server so that is an example of your uh, passive ftp and forgot about this one that's what i said command control okay so port number will be same only port number will be 20 and port number is called 
now is this clear guys so always whenever if you are going to talk in term of that is called in term of your data connection ftp is what uploading and downloading the file from the server from the server so if you are uploading a file to the server that is called passive ftp and if you are uh, downloading a file from the server that is called active ftp that's it okay guys now you need to understand there are some prerequisites will be there before going to do the installation of ftp server so i said very clearly if you are going to do a installation then you need a ftp client and you need a ftp server so for that purpose we have something called two linux terminal you need to create so one i am going to stop this one the other one is not at all required so i am going to start this one so try to use both the versions should be same because if you take one 617 then it will be a mismatch and might be some of the packages won't support guys okay i'll tell you openly and frankly so some of the packages don't support in case if you take a different different version so if you are doing if you have to create two virtual machine then create with two, both the virtual machine with seven only both the seven both should be 7.8 and 7.8 only don't take it like one should be seven one should be five no it's not going to work out 100 percent that compatibility will be not there now in the meantime we'll understand what there is something called profile of ftp server if you are going to install if you are going to do the installation of i'm not talking about the client itself as of now i'm still talking about the ftp server guys okay so if you want to do the installation of a ftp server i said very clearly there are two things one is your ftp client this is you can take it as a ftp client i'll write it down over here so you'll understand better this is going to be your ftp client and this is going to be your ftp server okay fine so if you if you are creating a ftp client and ftp server to upload and download the file then what you need to do so the first thing what you need to do is you need to set up the profile of this ftp server means what means you need to take care of this part first you need to set up this part first the ftp server then you need to go and do the ftp client part okay so now see what all to what all the things you need to do before set up the ftp server that is called the profile of ftp server so first thing is what is used use for this one it is used to upload and downloading the files i said very clearly now the next thing is what is the disadvantage of this ftp so directory cannot be uploaded or downloaded so even if you you can see over here you are not going to download some directory from the internet you are just whenever you are downloading you are downloading a file am i right or wrong yes or no guys mm -hmm. you are never going to download a directory okay so that is what it is called written over here okay so that is your directory cannot be uploaded or downloaded that is a disadvantage which package is required to install ftp so obviously if you want to install it's a software right it's a application which you need to install on it's a, that's what i said it's explicitly you need this is a package right so if you want to install vlc media player if you want to install microsoft office if you want to install anything so that is a package which you are going to install on top of your windows operating system so same way here also you need a package to install on a linux operating system so that package name is vsftpd and the daemon daemon is nothing but daemon is called your uh, background processes so as soon as if you install a package there will be a process involved to that one if you remember i have explained you earlier so whenever you install a package as soon as you start a service there is a there is a process involved to that service that daemon is that is a background process you can say okay and that daemon name is called vsftpd vsftpd stands for very secure ftp daemon d stands for daemon okay so it's not that daemon okay that one every land those one no it's like your uh, background process daemon okay and the script from where everything is a file in linux i said and everything will be back end will be a script only that's what i said very clearly in the starting only so this script of uh, uh, vsftpd is going to run from etc init.d init d what is the first which is the first program is has to execute in a linux operating system i told you yesterday right 
what is that first program has to execute from your Linux operating system? PID one, right? Init program, right? C dot D. I have explained you different run levels will be there. So from there only slash etc init D vs FTPD has to execute. Now the next thing is your port number. So I said there are two ports in this particular. That is port number twenty and port number twenty one. And there are some configuration files which you need to configure to configure your FTP server. That is slash etc vs FTPD vs FTPD conf is the main configuration file. Second file is your slash etc vs FTPD user underscore list. Third file is slash etc vs FTPD FTPD uh, user. And this is slash etc pam dot d vs FTPD guys. Okay. So the thing is the next slide what I have mentioned over here. If you see. The profile of FTP, the document root where the documentation will be there. That is uh, var FTP, and the home directory for the FTP will be var FTP. So FTP is also a user. FTP is also a user, but this is a system user. Why? You remember user administration? I told you there are three types mm -hmm. of user. One is your super user. One, the second one is your uh, what is that? System user, and third mm -hmm. one is your what is that normal user so second user is what second user is your softwares right mm -hmm. system user is what system users are software. nothing but these are your softwares yeah. right so yeah your applications or your software which you are going to install on top of your linux operating system now i am going to open the mobile extension okay now you need to understand okay what i said first thing is process okay so you can see there are many processes are running right correct Fine. Yes. So same way also FTP vs FTPD is also going to run because that is a daemon. So that is the daemon. Okay. Now the next thing is I told you cat slash etc pass wd is the file, right? You remember pass wd is the file, correct? So here yes. there are some there are some system users are there. These are your system users. Okay. So you can see NTP. This is also a SSD is also a user. So same way FTP will be user. So might be if I have installed FTP, yes, FTP I have installed here. You can see the home directory of FTP will be by default where FTP will be. 